This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planters plant food. Good morning, my name is Dr. Ryan Lee. I'm a plant biologist here at Indiana University. And today we're in the potting shed on a hot July day to talk about some container gardening. This is a rosemary plant that we've had around the house for some time, about two years now. And you can notice that we're starting to get some dieback on the plant. Overall, we have a stunted growth, we have some dead limbs, um, and we just don't see a lot of new growth. So there's a few things at work here. One is that the soil in this pot has lost its capability to retain nutrients. And two, we have somewhat of a developmental issue. So within a plant, the roots do a large majority of the root of the nutrient uptake, nutrient and water uptake. And in particular, the root hairs, the fine roots that are part of that fibrous root system, take up the majority of the nutrients and water. So what happens as this plant develops is we get more of the tap roots, more of the lateral roots. Those roots provide structure, stability, and also connectivity, but they do very little of the nutrient uptake. So as you can see with this plant, we've got, <laughs> we've got a lot of um, lateral roots. This is very root bound. We've um, excluded much of the soil that, that contains the nutrients. So what we need to do is prune away some of these, re these older roots. That gives us space to develop some more root hairs. Um, at the same time, we'll replace some of this older soil with some fresh potting soil. So to begin, we're just going to take off about 10 to 20 percent of that actual root mass with some pruners. So I'm just going to go in here and take off some of this bottommost root mass. Now as I clip, I'm making sure that I don't get too close to the actual crown of the plant. If we do any damage up here, we're likely to lose the plant. But surprisingly, we can do quite a bit of pruning on these roots from the bottom part. The plant is very resistant to this kind of, uh, this kind of change. So I'm going to remove a large portion of those, of those bottom roots. I'm also going to make some cuts up the side of the pot that again promotes those roots to take hold in the new, in the new plant, uh, in the new potting soil medium. Okay, so now I'm going to rip some of that apart, again, to give more space for, uh, for new development or development of new roots. Um, I'm going to look for any diseases, any, in, any insects that may have gotten into my pots over the, over the uh, few months that we've taken it in and out of the house. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of some of this potting soil that's from the past few years. Okay. And I'm going to take a look inside of my old pot and make sure that there's no insects in here. It is dirty. Um, you, you can feel free to wash these and reuse them. I'm going to reuse the same pot. So um, some would uh, increase the size of the pot. The problem with that is then it's a larger plant that I have to take in and out, out of my house every day. Okay, so at this point I'm ready to, to repot this plant. I'm going to put some fresh soil in the bottom of my pot. I'm going to press it down a little bit so, uh, so I've got all of the air pockets out. And then I'm going to place my plant back into its original pot and fill in the sides. <clears throat> now over the next several weeks, I'll make sure to keep this plant um, well watered. I'll use a, a, a water soluble liquid fertilizer like Miracle Grow over the next week, um, or once a week for the next few weeks. And then just before I bring this in in the fall, I'll probably give it a dose of a, uh, a fertilizer that is a slow, re slow release fertilizer like Osmocote, and this should be good for, for the rest of the, uh, the winter. So since I've taken off uh, about 10% of the root mass, I'm also going to take off some portion of the shoot mass. So the easy things to go for, first of all, are things like dead material. So I'm going to clip this very close to the, to the main part of the plant. 
Okay, I'm also going to start to prune away about 10 to 20 percent of the shoot material um, off of the off of this plant as well. So that's going to to balance out uh, the fact that I've lost some water uh, water uptake ability, and um, so I'm going to keep this well watered, and I'm going to look for new growth on this shoot material. And once I see that, then I can be sure that my roots have started to take uh, take root again. I'm Dr. Ryan Lee at Indiana University and that's container gardening for today. Thanks for watching.